With landscape as stunning as this, it's sometimes hard to compete with, but then you come across a gem like this. And I'm not just talking about Jamie Drew, but this amazing home. Obviously, the main feature, this incredible rippling roof line that just floats across the horizon. Now, you can see why they call this the magic carpet house, but what's <laughs> incredible about this home is that it's not only elegant and beautiful in its design, it's also extremely sustainable. It is a masterpiece of an eco-friendly home, and you're about to find out why. Lauriston House is in Victoria's beautiful Macedon Ranges, just outside the historic town of Kyneton. And in this stunning but harsh landscape, one of the first design priorities was water capture. So, Jamie, just like elite-level athletes who, when they perform, make it look effortless, you look at this roof line and it's so delicate and it just looks like it's almost hovering over this whole house. And yet you and I both know there's a hell of a lot of structural engineering and math that has gone into this. Yeah, because the roof actually curves in two different directions. Yeah. And the idea that it's been crafted, each one of these vessels, to harvest as much water as possible, not waste a drop, genius. Well, I mean, you can't afford to waste a drop of water when you're not on town water. That's it. Who would have thought that yeah. with a driving factor like that, you'd end up with something as beautiful as this? I couldn't agree more. So even though this design looks really sophisticated, it's actually got a lot of practicality to it. I mean, this is a working farm. They've got their olive trees, they actually press their own oil. They even rent out a part of it as an Airbnb. So, Jamie, I love the fact that I can already tell walking into this, they understand that with a farm, there's dirt. This place isn't precious at all. I love it. I mean, the fact that you've come in with your muddy boots, this yeah. is your mud room, and of course, <laughs> it's all sitting on this gorgeous big spine of bluestone running all the way through the house. It's so Victorian. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look in here, though. Oh, wow. I mean, this is where you can really appreciate the underside of that roof. This ceiling is magnificent. Isn't it just beautiful? Now, I think in the 50s they used to refer to this as a pleated ceiling, but they've done an even more sophisticated yeah. version of it, haven't they? The timber boards that they've actually used on that ceiling are eucalyptus. It's called Messmate. It's very indigenous mm. to Victoria. But on the ground, rather than using new boards, they've gone for recycled boards. So it's just got a whole lot more character. It's yeah. a, bit more, a bit more lived in. Now, I know the owner was chasing much more sunlight, and boy, did they get it, by opening up to the north, allowing all the sunlight to come in, and then topping it off with a 6R insulated ceiling. Wow. Then, of course, the floors are insulated as well, and all of the walls. And then, of course, to hold some of that heat in, they've got double insulated glass. Um, I mean, have they thought of anything else? Uh, oh, solar panels, <laughs> that's right. There are solar panels actually powering up the house as well. So they're really thinking about design and sustainability. They also have got a little bit of traditional heating in here, but it's I'm, kind of beautiful. I like it's very, apparently it's from France. <laughs> well, that's why it looks so good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at these screens behind us, Jamie. I love that. Those articulated screens and the copper running through it is just beautiful, isn't it? You still have everything you expect to find yeah. in your lounge room. You've got your big screen TV, you've got your bar, you've got your storage, but it doesn't dominate this space. It would work perfectly for me because it would just cover up all my mess when the guests come over. <laughs> <laughs> Now, those beautiful screens are repeated here in the cabinetry under the kitchen island bench. And, in fact, those screens and this bench were inspired by the local Lost Trades Fair, which is a really famous fair here in Kyneton. Yeah. We featured it on the show last year, and for anyone who's ever been there, they'll notice that these stools, they've actually been hand-carved with the founder of the Lost Trades Fair, Glenn Rundle. What I also like about this house is the fact that they've used very, very simple materials. I mean, this is almost semi-industrial. Yeah. It's just fibre cement sheeting, and it's been painted that dark basalt colour. And even the kitchen cupboards have been manufactured out of marine ply. And they're capped off with copper because it's antibacterial. Yes. Same with the handrail. And then you've got this gorgeous big horizon window that runs all the way through here. You know what? I've noticed one other detail. Because they've just put glass over the timber there as a splashback, you actually get a beautiful reflection of all the trees over here. And Jamie, it's not only the roof that has a bit of engineering amazingness about it. I know. It's like flying out of here, it's cantilevered like five metres. Yeah, matched only by these spectacular views. No, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, what a gorgeous bedroom. I mean, the, the ceiling just floats, but it's orientated in such a way. I think what I like most is they get to see those sunrises yeah. come through all the trees. What really blew me away was the guest bathroom because you've got these solid blue stone walls and then, boom, the ceiling just floats away. It's yeah. just gorgeous. It's exquisite. It? It's funny that you actually mentioned this door. I mean, if you go back to that mud room, there's a series of doors, but they're kind of hidden. On this southern side, there's a full study behind here. There's a door that leads down to the carport and there's one that leads to, honestly, a bathroom with one of the best views you'll ever see. I did discover that. It took me half a day to find <laughs> it, actually. <laughs> you need to watch more Inspector Gadget I do. <laughs> now, this home, if you didn't think it would be any more fabulous than it already is, believe it or not, it's actually been hand-bolted together rather than all that steel actually welded. And that means that if the owners did ever choose to move, and they're not planning to, but if they did, they could actually take the house apart and reconstruct it at a different location. No, I just love the idea that it's actually a recyclable home. <laughs> you know, we could add to it or take away and prefab and all that sort of stuff. I think that's the future of building. But this is yeah. just a gorgeous way to end the day, isn't it? We're in this sunken outdoor room, lined with local stone, core 10 fireplace, it's yeah. very nice indeed. This We're, has been a ripper. All we need now is some olives and maybe a glass of... <laughs> I like the way he's thinking. <laughs> <laughs>